Group four, the leaders. This is our final presentation for our principles of management class and the project is our finger puppet management TV. Group members are Amy Perez, Jared Monteleon, Jocelyn Nelman, Henry Miller, and Armando Rosario. The name of our show is called Easy Tutor, and our group's objective throughout the show was basically to provide insight to young entrepreneurs and new business owners on just how rapidly early success can turn into greed, which was definitely shown throughout some of the episodes. We also wanted to show viewers the importance of creating organizational structures and how to teach staff members early on what a company's core values are, and which we did show throughout the show as well. Our group will also show how young professionals should respond when faced with others who make poor unethical choices in the job force. And lastly, we wanted all of our viewers to see the different management concepts we use and how, they're and how our uh, characters actually are exposed to these challenges along the way and how you guys can also be exposed to these challenges in your current careers. Our show took place in a medium-sized building near the University of South Florida St. Petersburg campus and Dally Museum. Our storyline dealt with a few concepts in management which included that of ethical decision making, moral rights as an employee has decided to become a whistleblower on his close friend, and our show also touches base on basic approaches in managerial skills, organizational structures, core values, strategic management, strategic planning, human resource management, formulation, and formalization, which are terms that actually occur in almost every job's everyday life. Our target audience for our show, however, was directed towards young professionals who just entered the workforce and general businesses who may have employees that are making bad ethical decisions. On this side, we have our table of contents, which goes over what our group objective was for the episode and for the project, the introduction of our project, our target market, introduction of our group members, actually, and our biographies, a little summary of what our show is, so our summary of the management themes for episodes, our work breakdown and execution, also our group reflections and individual reflections, our show's playlist, and our citations. And at first, our approach for the show was we at first created episodes using websites such as Storyboard and Animate. However, as the, mid, as the milestones came along, our ideas kept shifting along with the feedback we received, so we decided to use finger puppets as characters. We actually redid our episodes and used concepts with emphasized drama throughout. Me and our team. The first group member is Amy Perez. She's 22 years old. She's a student at the University of South Florida and is pursuing a degree in the health science with a concentration in health management. She enjoys going to concerts and sporting events and is obsessed with The Walking Dead. The next member is Jocelyn, who is 27 years old. She was born and raised in Tampa, Florida also, is a middle child of four siblings, adores big families, and is attending USF for her Bachelor's of Accounting. She also loves The Walking Dead and enjoys sharing a good bottle of wine with her friends. Our next member is Henry Miller, who is in the Special Forces in the military. He worked as an electrician for GE after leaving the military. He's a senior at USF St. Pete and plans to continue for an MBA in accounting. He currently works as, at a tax office in Brooksville, Florida, and he was offered a management next year and will be attending classes at a corporate office. He is looking forward to a successful year. The last two members of our group is first Jared Monteleone, who is 21 years old and was also born and raised in Tampa, Florida. He is currently a full-time student at USF, where he is working on a degree in business economics and plans to earn his MBA. He currently works at Publix. His goal is to be able to stay with the company and move into a corporate position. And in his free time, he loves to travel and relax at the beach. Our last group member is Armando Rosario, who is also 21 years old, born in Texas, but grew up mostly in Florida. His hobbies include playing, writing, music, and drawing. And he is trying to earn an accounting degree at USF. So the summary of our show is that our show deals with four young entrepreneurs who open up a tutoring center called Easy Tutoring for college students. 
Sean is the owner and creator of this company and has a team of employees that include his closest friends Brian, Manny, and Daniel. This tutoring business has proven to be successful in a very short period of time since they've opened it and they help students who need help with specific classes that other tutoring companies cannot offer. Well, even with the great success they've had though, a few obstacles come along their way, which is something that many uh, businesses face, you know, in the real life. Some of the obstacles that uh, occur are such as when Brian, one of the main employees and, and friend, begins to make a bad ethical choice. He scams some of the customers by taking money on the side without telling his boss shot. Brian later gets cocky, tells his friend Manny, who becomes a whistleblower, and tells her Sean, tells the manager Sean. Because of this, it goes against the company's values and everything they work for, he gets fired. Afterwards, Sean convinces Brian, fires him, and then after this, they must figure out how to reconstruct the organizational structure of the growing business and lessen the load work for some of the other employees. So our show deals with ethical decision making on how someone who just enters the building, the business field can tell whether or not others are using it correctly. Our show just begins with the new owner, manager, Sean, trying to get an organizational structure and how he must learn to reorganize it after one of the characters uses poor decision making. He later learns to reconstruct his business using some important management concepts that are seen throughout some of our episodes, which include planning, directing, formalization, centralized structures, core values, and whistleblowing. This is our lovely cast, new characters, Sean, the manager, Brian, one of the employees, Manny, one of the employees, and Daniel, who's also another employee. Here is Sean, who is the manager of VZ Tutoring. He uses managerial skills throughout the show, such as planning, directing, ethical decision making, and uses organizational formulations to ensure the success of his business. Here is another character, Brian, who's kind of the villain of the show. He uses poor ethical decision making and goes against the company's core values and organizational structure. Manny is the sort of go-to employee of the show. He knows all about being responsible and knowing the difference between good and bad ethical decision making and he cares about his company's core values, organizational structure, and formulation. He even whistleblows in an episode. And our last character of Easy Tutoring is Daniel. Daniel always abides by the company's core values, follows all protocols, and, is, and the organizational structure and is a perfect example of an employee who makes ethical decisions. Episode 1 is basically the introduction to our show. It shows who the characters are, the setting, uh, the main ideas and, and concepts of management that are discussed throughout the show, such as ethical decision making, the moral rights approach, how the manager Sean must direct the, his teammates, plan and organize everything, and how he has to use his managerial skills. The episode then transitions to episode 2, which shows Brian making a poor non-ethical decision and how he goes against the moral rights approach. Episode 2 focused on the ethical decision making and the morality approach. And it shows how Sean makes a non-programmed decision making in this episode when it comes to whether or not he should buy high-tech equipment or go for his company's comfort who's complaining about how they feel that he should buy new furniture. And then later this episode transitions on to how Brian begins to make a horrible non-ethical decision making uh, decision. He goes against the company's core values and doesn't care about any magnitude of consequences. He crosses the line of authority and this episode just basically talks about the non-ethical decision making process with, with the non-program decision. Episode 3 gives our viewers a closer view of the main theme of ethical decision making and the moral rights approach. Uh, the manager in this episode has a meeting with three of his important employees to discuss, to discuss how well the uh, company has been doing. He goes over the company's organizational structures. And at the end of this episode, Brian decides to tell Manny about his unethical choice he's making and how he takes money on the side. And now, Manny is faced with the choice of whether or not he should, you know, approach Sean and let him know what's going on. 
episode 4 deals with the whistleblower concept and how Manny decides to become one to let Sean know what Brian has been doing and how he's been going against the company's core values and what the negative outcome will be. In episode 5 of our show, we discussed terms such as organization structure, centralized organization, and decentralized organization. After Manny turned in Brian, we decided for Sean to give Manny a promotion since he had taken all of Brian's responsibilities after he had been fired for making an unethical decision. Previously, Easy Tutoring only had one manager ever, Sean, who made all the decisions himself, making them a centralized organization. However, in a centralized organization, authority usually resides with a few who are at the top of the authority. Sean felt that there needed to be a shift within the company and there needed to be more people in charge. So during episode 5, Sean and Manny discuss his promotion and how they will structure the company going forward. He tells them how he wants to transition the, the company into a decentralized organization where authorities pass from the highest level now to a lower level and by doing so the company will run smoother. Episode 6 of our show focused on strategic planning, formulation, and competitive advantages. Our, show st our episode starts out with Sean and Manny having a meeting to discuss what strategic management techniques they can employ at Easy Tutoring. They first mention in the meeting as a point to define the concept for this episode are the steps that are involved in the strategic planning process that involve formulation of a plan followed by implementation of that plan, which is then followed by the evaluation of that plan to make sure everything is working fine. Manny mentions to Sean that they are actually in the formulation phase of their strategic planning to win competitive advantage in the industry. A competitive advantage is the ability of a firm to win consistently over a long period of time in a competitive advantage. And so Sean and Manny end up offering a discount to current customers that refer new customers in order, in order to be ahead of any other tutoring companies in the area. And our final episode 7 of Easy Tutoring deals with the main concept of rational model problem and opportunity. The problem is that after Brian got fired, Daniel's workload doubled, but his pay stayed the same. Sean and Manny have the opportunity to fix this problem by paying Daniel more money or by hiring someone to replace Brian. Sean and Manny end up meeting to discuss this matter and use a rational decision making model, which is a model that managers actually use in an early attempt to model decision making, especially when it comes to their decisions. Sean and Manny took the opportunity to give Daniel a raise that was actually higher than what he was originally asking for. And so the episode on our show ends on a positive note, and we hope that whoever views our show sees the importance of making ethical decisions when in the workforce, and how to follow organizational structures which include the sum of ways in which labor is diverted, divide, divided into distinct tasks. We hope you guys enjoyed our show, and that's all folks. Our group's general conclusions on management is that management in business and organization involves coordinating the efforts of people to accomplish goals and objectives by using available resources efficiently and effectively. In order to successfully run a business, managers must understand the different ways of planning, directing, staffing, and leading their staff to reach any goals and objects. Management is no easy job, however, with the proper training and caring for staff, Managing a company can deliver great, great results. Managers must also have numerous responsibilities. They should be great leaders and must work effectively in order to have a hard-working team. Group 4 is Project and Course Reflection. As a group, we, when we first started the project, many of us felt that this would, project would be very easy. However, we quickly learned that this was not so easy, especially when the group does not see each other on a weekly or daily basis. So therefore, our communication needed to be a big part. We had to arrange assignments, pitch ideas, and work as a team. The group has been very good with time management, getting the assignments in on time, and following the advice of our structure on how to improve the project. Although we have always submitted each assignment on time, we have faced difficulties with everyone's schedule and trying to get everyone to turn their assignments in and a certain day so we could have it completed before Sunday. However, we would all meet up halfway during the week online during our discussions and share the progress of that week's assignment and what needed to be done next. In all, we all feel that this project and course introduces to many different management concepts that many of us had no prior knowledge of and also provided us with real-world experiences with management scenarios. We were all able to quickly 
come up with new scenarios for our show and add management terms which helped us all better understand how management should be run within companies and just gave us many tips on how to successfully maintain a business. Overall, Group 4 believes that we have all worked well with each other and have managed to brainstorm and create a fun show. Jared Montalion feels that this course has benefited him with an experience that he believes he will be able to carry without him throughout his career. He feels that rather than teaching me about individual specific things related to management, he feels that this course provided him with a much better and general understanding of what makes a manager successful at his job. He feels that as he continues on throughout his career that he will be able to use the things that he has learned from this course. He also feels that this course has definitely been one of the courses in which the material that is learned will stay with him throughout his life as opposed to something that he will never use again. He's very grateful for his group. Armando Rosario feels that he has learned many new wonders of management and how it extends to every facet of his life. Being a manager isn't just telling people what to do, it is much more. And management is a fine art and is easily comparable to the works of Ernest Hemingway and Michelangelo. The art of telling people what to do. Decision making is definitely worth worthy of one study. For Joshua Newman, when this semester first started, she was quite skeptical about how much she'd actually learn from doing the group project. However, now that it is almost done, she feels that she has learned more about managing from the project than reading the textbook. She also feels that she has learned so much in the course that, ha that she had a hard time picking out only two objects to write about for her reflective logs for the final one. If she had to give any advice to any future students who are going to take this course, she said to go into the group project with an open mind. You will learn way more than you ever expected. If everyone in your group participates, it's not as much work as you think. So don't stress out while reading the syllabus. Also, if you read the text and watch the lectures, videos, Dr. Diasio gives you everything you need to be successful will be okay. When Henry Miller first began this course, he was saying to himself that this project and group will be easy to do. What he learned was that it's not so easy, especially when the group does not see each other on a weekly or daily basis, so therefore communication needed to be is a big part. Amy did a good job of trying to organize the group to chat on Wednesdays. That way it is not a last minute thing to do. We had to arrange assignments, pitch ideas, and work as a team. The group has been very good with time management, getting the assignments done on time, and following the advice of our instructors. And lastly, Amy Perez says that from the writing log to the design challenges to the group project, she's definitely gained a lot from this course. When the course first began, she thought it was going to be like any other course where she just read the chapters and had weekly quizzes and exams. However, this course was completely different. The way Diasio set up the course was different, and she felt that it allowed us to gain a greater appreciation and knowledge of what management is and how to apply the terms in the real world. We really had to go in depth in the chapters and really understand the different concepts in order to apply them in our writing logs and group project. The group project was definitely an interesting experience for her, however she thoroughly enjoyed it and enjoyed working with her group. Our group recommendations for any future groups after having participated in this course is that we strongly feel that all groups must stay on top of the coursework and talk frequently within the week. This class and project was definitely an eye-opening experience because we all learned not only different management concepts, but how to apply these concepts in real life, especially working with others in a group. So stay on task, follow the team charter, divide the work equally, and also make sure everyone responds on time. We also recommend for everyone to exchange numbers because not everyone will have the opportunity to check their canvas daily. Be kind to one another, have open minds, and try your hardest to understand as many of the management concepts and scenarios as you can since it will definitely benefit you in the real world. Good luck, future management students. Here we have Easy Tutoring's playlist, episodes one through seven. Our final presentation is on YouTube, and you guys will definitely love our show. And at last, here are our references. Thank you for watching Easy Tutoring.